MET Go Digital is an English language proficiency exam for upper primary to lower secondary school aged students. The exam is multi-level, so the entire class can participate. Students can take the exam at an authorized test center or at home. MET Go gives educators the flexibility to choose test dates that best serve their curriculum and program goals. The exam is designed to reflect modern classroom practice with familiar tasks that evaluate levels A1 to B1 on the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, or CEFR. MET GO can test four skills, listening, reading, writing, and speaking, or three skills, listening, reading, and writing. Every candidate who takes MET GO receives a score report with personalized feedback and a certificate. Both the score report and certificate are backed by the University of Michigan and Cambridge Assessment English. Results are available within two weeks of the test administration, and all exam content is scored by Michigan Language Assessment. So, what does a test taker need to take the test? A laptop or desktop computer, stable internet connection, web camera, headphones or a speaker to hear the audio, built-in or plug-in microphone, a quiet and comfortable space. Test takers receive an email with instructions on how to access the test. When it's time to access the test, the test taker clicks on a link in the email. Before entering the key code, the test taker should perform a system check to make sure that audio, video, and recording functionalities are working correctly. The proctor tells the test takers when they can enter the key code. Now, let's take a look at the test. The test begins with the writing section. This section has three parts and lasts 30 minutes. The test taker types their response to each of the three parts into the text boxes below each prompt. The next section is listening. This section has five parts and lasts 30 minutes. The audio is played twice. Here is an example of listening part one. Look at the people in the picture. Listen to some information. Find the person to answer the question. You will hear the information twice. Look at the picture of people at the supermarket, then answer the questions. Andrew works at the supermarket. He's looking at the bananas. Which person is Andrew? Andrew works at the supermarket. He's looking at the bananas. Which person is Andrew? Heather is near some fruit. She has some bread. Which person is Heather? Heather is near some fruit. Here is an example of listening part two. Listen and answer the questions. You will hear the questions twice. Have you seen my backpack? Have you seen my backpack? What kind of snacks do you have? What kind of snacks do you have? Here is an example of listening part three. Listen to the conversations. You will hear the conversations twice. Then choose the picture that answers the question. What did you get for lunch today, Anthony? Well, I wanted a burger, but there weren't any left. So I had pizza. 
Oh, too bad. Maybe they'll have some tomorrow. What did you get for lunch today, Anthony? Well, I wanted a burger, but there weren't any left, so I had pizza. Oh, too bad. Maybe they'll have some tomorrow. What did the boy eat? Here is an example of listening part four. Listen to the conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. Then answer the questions. Listen to a conversation between friends. Hi, Elizabeth. How is everything? Everything's great. I haven't seen you around lately. Yeah, I went to visit my grandparents for a couple of weeks. It was fun. Where do your grandparents live? They live in the mountains, close to a big lake. There was a lot to do there. I went hiking, swimming, fishing, but my favorite thing was spending time with my cousins. That sounds like a lot of fun. It was. I can't wait to go back. Listen to a conversation between friends. Hi, Elizabeth. How is everything? Everything's great. I haven't seen you around lately. Yeah, I went to visit my grandparents for a couple of weeks. It was fun. Where do your grandparents live? They live in the mountains, close to a big lake. There was a lot to do there. I went hiking, swimming, fishing, but my favorite thing was spending time with my cousins. That sounds like a lot of fun. It was. I can't wait to go back. Here is an example of listening part five. Listen to the talks. You will hear each talk twice. Then answer the questions. Listen to a teacher talking to her class. It's almost time to leave for our field trip. As you know, today we're going to a furniture factory. We will watch furniture like tables, chairs, and desks be made. When we get back to school, I want you to write a report. In it, you should describe what you saw at the factory. You can write about the machines and what the workers were doing. Okay, please make a line by the door. The bus we'll take to the factory will be arriving in just a couple of minutes. Listen to a teacher talking to her class. It's almost time to leave for our field trip. As you know, today we're going to a furniture factory. We will watch furniture, like tables, chairs, and desks, be made. When we get back to school, I want you to write a report. In it, you should describe what you saw at the factory. You can write about the machines and what the workers were doing. Okay, please make a line by the door. The bus we'll take to the factory will be arriving in just a couple of minutes. The next section is reading. This section has two parts and lasts 30 minutes. In part one, the test taker chooses the best word or phrase to complete the sentence. In part two, they read texts and answer several questions about the texts. The final section of the test is speaking. This section has four parts and lasts 10 minutes. The first part is for practice and is not scored. Test takers interact with audio and visual prompts and their spoken responses are recorded.
Now we are going to start the first part of the test. You will answer some practice questions. Then you will go to the next page to see questions again and talk about them. You will start speaking when the timer appears on the screen. Your answer will be saved when the timer ends. What is the weather like today? Tell me about your family. Now we're going to start the second part of the test. Look at the two pictures. Many things are the same, but some things are different. For example, in both pictures, there is a bed, but in picture one, the bed is small, and in picture two, the bed is big. What else is different? You will have 90 seconds to talk. You should say as much as you can. Now we will go to the next page. You will see the pictures again and talk about them. Begin speaking when you see the timer on the screen. Now we are going to start the last part of the test. There will be two questions in this part of the test. You will have a short time to plan each of your answers. Then you will have 60 seconds to talk about each question. Now let's talk about you. Tell me about a time in the past when you went to a concert or listened to music. You have 10 seconds to plan your answer. I will tell you when you can begin speaking. Please think about your answer. Let's move on to the next question. Let's talk about your opinion. Some people like to listen to music when they study. Other people prefer to study in a quiet place. What do you think is the best way to study? Give your opinion and reasons to support it. You have 10 seconds to plan your answer. I will tell you when you can begin speaking. Please think about your answer. This is the end of the METGO speaking test. You have now finished all sections of the METGO. Please click Finish Test on the top of the screen. This is the end of the test.